Hey folks, Connor from NiceWiz here. Today we're gonna to review the Bulls 650 E2 Street, a speedy hybrid commuter bike. So in this review, we'll uh, run through some of the specs that are on this bike. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the Bosch Performance Line uh, speed motor that this bike offers, and we'll talk about how it rides. So the 650 E2 Street is definitely a pretty unique bike that Bulls came out with. It's kind of a hybrid between a hardtail and a commuter bike. Uh, so you do have some commuter oriented features that are on this bike. You can see these nice aluminum fenders as well as a pannier rack that uh, has some nice blockers on here so you can uh, load up some cargo on the, uh, the back of the bike. You also have a suspension fork up front so that's going to dampen a lot of, uh, of vibration, provide you a good amount of shock, and it's an SR Suntour fork that you got there. Another more comfort oriented feature that you got on this bike is uh, these Ace of Pace tires, which uh, have a pretty nice tread on it that's gonna give you some good traction for off-road riding. Uh, so that combined with the suspension will allow this bike to be used on-road and off the road just as easily. So moving on to the drivetrain, you have a uh, Shimano Dior derailleur in the back and that's gonna be a 10 speed setup. And that's gonna work with the Bosch Performance Speed Motor. And that motor's gonna allow you to go 28 miles an hour. So it's gonna make this bike a really great bike to take for long distances. Uh, gonna be able to get you those, those 20 mile rides uh, you know, quite a bit faster than some of the 20 mile per hour or uh, class one electric bikes that Bulls makes. This bike will come with the Bosch 500 watt hour power pack and that's a 350 watt motor that this bike will feature. And you can see a nice uh, small sprocket here. Remember Bosch uh, teeth counts are multiplied by two and a half to get your you know, real size chain ring that you got there. You can see how nicely Bulls integrates that Bosch motor uh, into the frame. It kind of angles upward a little bit and uh, you know, makes it a little bit uh, less obvious that it's a, an electric motor that's actually uh, on your bottom bracket. So moving on to the braking system on this bike, you have these Tektro Dorado hydraulic brakes with some nice long levers here. Doesn't take a lot of force to get the good stopping power. You also have 203 millimeter rotors, which are pretty much the biggest size that you can get out there. It's gonna make stopping very easy on this bike and it's gonna come in handy when you're getting that 28 mile an hour top speed. So coming up to the uh, handlebars, you have these nice extra wide aluminum bars. That's gonna give you a lot of control over this bike and combine that with these ergonomic grips is gonna make it a pretty comfortable ride as well. The bike also has an integrated light set that runs off the main battery and you also get a brake light uh, in the rear, which is usually a feature you only see on, on the more expensive bikes. So it's nice to see that feature kind of brought down to this uh, you know, more moderately priced e-bike. So we'll quickly go over some of the features of the Bosch Intuvia display that this bike has. Uh, so you have your nice center mounted display here and then a button pad over by your left hand side. That's going to allow you to scroll through your four modes of pedal assist. So you have Eco, Tour, Sport and Turbo. And then uh, right beside that over here is going to have like a power meter. So uh, it'll let you know how much power the motor is actually using. You also have both uh, info buttons on the uh, thumb pad and the display itself. And that's going to allow you to scroll through uh, a couple other readouts on the bottom like your estimated range, your odometer trip distance, clock, max speed, average speed, and your total trip time. So plenty of readouts and information for you to, to look at while you're on your ride. So first thoughts of the, uh, the ride of this bike is that it's a, one of the more comfortable speed pedalecs that I've, that I've ridden on. Uh, when you have those nice wide bars, thick tires, and a suspension fork while you're going 28 miles an hour, uh, you feel like you have a lot of control over the bike, which is, which is really nice. A lot of the other speed pedalecs are, you know, completely solid frames or have, you know, aluminum or carbon forks, but having that suspension and more of like a mountain bike geometry makes this really comfortable to ride. As with any bike equipped with a Bosch mid-drive, you're going to have really responsive pedal assist activation, so it's going to be a very short time between, you know, when you actually put pressure on the pedals to when the motor responds. That's one of the great things about these, these Bosch mid-drives. They have a lot of sensors firing off. I believe it's about a thousand plus per second uh, that are measuring your speed, cadence, and torque uh, to give you that really responsive ride. Bosch motors also offer shift sensing, which is going to elongate the, uh, the lifespan of your drivetrain and you know, going to ease off that chain when it matters the most. So when you have the control of those extra wide bars uh, combined with a nice, you know, fender set that's aluminum, it's going to be solid, uh, as well as that pannier rack that's going to keep the weight down on the bike while still allowing you to pack a decent amount of cargo, uh, it, it really is overall a great value commuter setup. But of course, if you're looking for, uh, you know, just a bike to have fun with and ride mostly off-road, you can, you know, just explore the trails with this at high speeds as well. 
So final thoughts on the 650E2 Street. Uh, overall, it's gonna be a very good value bike, uh, you know, for what it's worth. It's about $3,800, this bike, and you're gonna get a lot of features as well as that, that 28 miles an hour top speed that you usually pay more of a premium for on other bikes. Thanks so much for watching our review of the 650E2 Street by Bulls. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, as well as turn on your notifications to let you know when we release new videos.